Meta, our digestive system helps break down the food that we eat. Mm. Oh, hi! My name is B, like the letter B. This is Mr. Butterfly, and this is Meta, the brown bear. Today, we are learning about our digestive system. Right now, Meta and I are having a delicious snack. Mm. We are eating these very fresh green grapes. Do you know what happens after we eat these grapes? Mm. Where does our food go after we chew it in our mouths? Mm. Well, let me tell you. You see, food contains vitamins, minerals, and energy. All the things that our bodies need to live. Mm. In order for our bodies to use the vitamins, minerals, and energy in the food, our bodies must first break down the food into very, very, very tiny pieces. But how does this happen? Our digestive system does the job. Our digestive system is made up of several different organs inside our bodies that all work together as a team to help break down our food. Oh, do you hear that? Mm. No? Well, listen harder. Do you hear that? Mm -hmm. It's the idea train. <laughs> Meta, look what's inside the box. Ooh. Thank you, idea train. Mm -hmm. Meta, inside this box is an apron that has pretend organs on it. All these organs together make up our digestive system. This is what it looks like inside our bodies. Isn't that neat? Mm-hmm. Oh, I have an idea. Let's use this apron to show all of our friends exactly what happens to these grapes after we eat them. Should we do that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me put on the apron. Okay, now I have the apron on. After we chew the grapes really well, where do the grapes go? Well, chewing our food in our mouths is the beginning or the start of our digestive system. Chewing our food is the first stage of our digestive system. When we chew the grapes, they get broken down and smashed into smaller pieces by our teeth. Saliva in our mouth also helps to break down the food as we chew. After we chew our food really, really well, we are then able to swallow the smaller pieces of grapes. Mm. Swallowing our food is the second stage of our digestive system. Our tongues help push the smaller pieces of grapes to the back of our throat and into a long food tube called the esophagus. Let's find the pretend esophagus on my apron. This orange tube right here is our pretend esophagus. Our throat muscles continue to help push the great pieces down the esophagus all the way until they reach our stomach. This pretend green organ right here is our stomach. The stomach is the third stage of our digestive system. The broken down food from our esophagus can sit in our stomachs for up to four hours. As the great pieces sit in the stomach, our stomach muscles move and mix the broken down food with our stomach juices, also called our stomach enzymes and stomach acids, to help break down the grapes into even smaller pieces. Mm -hmm. Wow! Our bodies work really hard at breaking down our food. Whoa! Mm -hmm. From here, the tiny pieces of grapes leave the stomach and go into a windy and long tube called the small intestine. This pink windy tube right here is the pretend small intestine. 
The small intestine is the fourth stage of our digestive system. In the small intestine, more juices that come from our liver and pancreas help continue to break the grapes into even smaller pieces so that they can finally get absorbed into our body. Then, any leftover parts of the grapes that our body cannot use go into the large intestine. This orange, very large, winding tube is our pretend large intestine. The large intestine is the fourth and final stage of our digestive system. The leftover food that our body cannot use travels through the large intestine and then leaves our bodies as waste. Mm -hmm. Wow, our digestive system works really hard to break down the food we eat into very, very tiny pieces so that our bodies can absorb and use the food for vitamins, minerals, and energy. Wow. Mm. What's mm. that? Oh, Meta just asked a very good question. Why can we sometimes hear rumbling noises in our stomachs? That's Miss Y calling. Hi, Miss Y. Hi, B. Do you and Meta have a question for me? Well, yes, we do. Why can we sometimes hear rumbling noises in our stomachs? That is a great question. Hmm. I have an interesting digestive stomach experiment that I can set up and share with Meta when he visits the Curiosity Lab today. That should help answer his question. Okay, I have to go. Bye for now. Bye, Miss Y. Miss Y is our friend who is a scientist. She works at the Curiosity Lab in the city. Mate, Miss Y said she has an interesting digestive stomach experiment to share with you to help answer your question. <gasps> Mate, are you ready to go visit Miss Y at the Curiosity Lab? Mm -hmm. All right, Mate, I hope you have a wonderful time. Hi, Meta. It is so great to see you today. Hello, everyone. My name is Miss Y, and I work here at the Curiosity Lab. Over there is my assistant, Bolty the robot. Okay, so the question Meta asked is, why can we sometimes hear rumbling noises in our stomachs? <laughs> well, our stomachs rumble or make noises when food, liquid, and gas go through the stomach and small intestine. I'm going to show you what happens inside your stomach when you hear those rumbling noises by doing a simple experiment using at-home supplies. We will need a plastic bag with a pretend stomach drawn on it with a marker, two to three crackers, and a small bottle of clear soda. Are you ready to do this digestive stomach experiment? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's begin. First, you are going to draw a pretend stomach on the bag. I've already drawn my stomach on my bag using this permanent marker. Then we are going to fill up our stomach with these crackers. Let's add these crackers to our bag. Mm. I'm gonna use three. And put them right in the stomach, like that. Do you see how the crackers look like they're sitting inside the stomach? Mm-hmm. Okay. The stomach has two ways of breaking down food. The first way is by physical movement. The stomach moves and mixes the food to break it down like this. Do you see how the crackers are now being broken down into small pieces? Mm. That is what happens inside our stomachs. Break it down a little more. Now, in addition to the movement of the stomach walls, the second way the stomach breaks down our food is by using juices inside our bodies called digestive enzymes and stomach acids to break down our food even further. We are going to pour some clear soda into our pretend stomach. The clear soda represents the stomach acids and digestive enzymes in our stomach. Mm. Here come our digestive enzymes, Meta. 
and our stomach acid. Next, make sure the top of the bag is completely zipped shut. Also, get all the air out of the bag. We don't want anything coming out of our bag in the next step. Okay, Ooh. the last step is to mash the food, our crackers, and the pretend acid, our clear soda, together in our stomach. Ooh. This is what happens inside your stomach. Mm. Can you see how the crackers are breaking down into even smaller pieces with the help of the liquid? Mm -hmm. The stomach acids and enzymes help make it easier for the crackers to break down in our stomach. This right here is usually when we hear rumbling noises mm. coming from our tummies, mm -hmm. when our food is being mixed and broken down inside our stomachs. Wow. That was really fun doing this digestive stomach experiment with all of you. I hope you had fun learning why we can sometimes hear rumbling noises in our stomachs. Mm -hmm. Meta, thank you for visiting the Curiosity Lab today. And remember, Miss Y is here, so ask away. Did you have a good time with Miss Y learning why we can sometimes hear rumbling noises in our stomachs? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Do you know what time it is? Mm -hmm. It's time to dance. This is where we stop what we're doing, stand up, and dance. You can do whatever dance move you feel like doing. <gasps> do you hear that? Mm -hmm. It's the idea train! And look, it's Pinky the Boombox. Hi, Pinky the Boombox. All right. Thank you, idea train. <laughs> All right, we will put Pinky the Boombox right here. Pinky plays our music. I will take this gold cassette tape and put it in here. And I will close it up and push the button with the triangle on it, the play button. Are you ready to dance? Mm -hmm. Yes? Okay, I will push the play button now. Was a lot of fun. Okay, let's get back to what we were doing. Guess what? It's time to share some Meta art. This is a map of the world. The colorful shapes on this map represent all the different places we live on our planet. The first piece of art we're going to share today was sent to us by a family who lives in the United States of America in the state of New Jersey. An awesome kid named Luna made this mate art. Wow, Luna, you did a fantastic job drawing all of us. First, over here, we have Miss Y. Next to Miss Y, Luna drew herself with an awesome smile. Next to Luna is Aiden and made to look. Here you are. Next to Meta is Lydia, and next to Lydia is me, B. Oh, and look, flying over Meta's head is Mr. Butterfly. Luna, I love how you used so many different colors. You really took a lot of time making this art. I love all the details and how you made each of us so different and so colorful. Thank you, Luna, for sending us your fantastic Meta art. The next piece of art we're going to share today was sent to us by a family who lives in Mexico. An amazing kid named Marianne made this Meta art. Meta, there you are. Marianne, nice job at coloring. You used the colors brown and tan for Meta's head, the color purple for his sweater, and the color yellow for the idea light bulb. And look, Meta, Marianne wrote your name, M-A-Y-T. A. Meta. 
Thank you, Marianne, for sending us your magnificent mate art. And the last piece of art we're going to share today was sent to us by a family who lives in Jordan. A cool kid named Mohammed made this mate art. Meta, look, there you are right here. Next to Meta is Mr. Butterfly and me, B. And over here is Pinky the Boombox. I love your green grass down here and the cloud you drew in the sky up here. Mohammed, I love the music notes you drew over Pinky to show us that Meta and B are listening to music. And Meta, look, we both have wonderful smiles on our faces. Thank you, Mohammed, for sending us your fantastic mate art. Before we go, let's say five good things about ourselves. Do you want to do that? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. I'll go first, and then you repeat what I say after me. Number one. I am strong. Number two. I am helpful. Number three, I am smart. Number four, I am brave. Number five, I am kind. Wow, that was really great. Nicely done. To keep learning with Meta, me, and all of our friends, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. Thank you for spending your time with us, and until next time, bye! It's time to thank our awesome Patreon members. Thank you sincerely for your monthly support of our show. Special thanks to our Pinky the Boombox level patrons, Raffi, Sammy, Charlie, Caden, Miles, and Maria. We thank you for your support.